A grand adventure! So I was thinking, we'd start at the river here, then we'll hike through these woods, and then climb this mountain right to the top! Why do we want to climb to the top? This is the super cool part! The plan is to jump off the peak wearing parachutes! And Chicky and I will be home having a lovely time making yummy fruit punch! Come on, Chicky! Bucky, do you really need a backpack you could fit the moon in? Yeah, totally! I'll be ready for whatever nature throws our way! This bag is full of everything we could possibly need! Huh? What? Why? Huh? Bucky, what's the problem? It's no big disaster at all! Some reeds have gotten wrapped around the propeller. I've got exactly what we need. Somewhere, somewhere. Hey, look! It's a grappling hook! Whoops. It's stuck! That was the wrong thing. Somewhere. Let's get paddling, dude. Like this! This is hard work! <laughs> are you paddling at all? Because it doesn't seem like you are. Friend, if you're there, come and help this humble bear! Wow, look! Bjorn! Enormous fish! Very enormous fish! How are you so calm? Bjorn! Fishzilla! Bjorn, did you see that mega gargantuan fish just now? Am I crazy pants or did a giant fish just come out of nowhere and carry us to shore? What's next? A cloud ride to the moon? <laughs> Keep moving, scaredy man. It's just a little marshy. Nothing could possibly go wrong. We're kind of sinking, Bucky. You think? You forget you're adventuring with Captain Prepare. I just need my grappling hook. Uh Right. I dropped the hook into the river, so we're totally sinking. You see that, Bucky? A whole bunch of ants. Well, are there ants in your brain? Because you appear to be dancing. While we're sinking into a swamp, what are you doing? Is this some oh, sort of come to thing? me? Yarn. Friends, help this bear pull free. Bucky, grab on. Nice. Thank you so much, my friends. You little guys are just the best! Look at the teeny tiny things! Who would have thought they could do it? Here you go! Thanks a lot! Dude, wait up! My oldest and strongest of friends, our climb on your help depends! Yarn, it's just a rock! A little too far with the nature bear stuff! To climb, you just need muscles and will! Bucky, take a look. It's an eagle. Just beautiful. Come on, Bjorn. Climbers shouldn't get distracted. We didn't come here to look at nature. Huh? <laughs> uh, Bjorn, help me, please! Strong monarch of the air, save the disrespectful bear! Hey, I've got respect. Tons of it! Nature's the best! <laughs> take it easy with those talons. I mean, thanks and all, but really, you can put me down any time. Huh? Whoa, awesome, Bjorn! Did you see that? That bird's great! Oh, the view is just insane! Shame Franny isn't here to see it. Whoa, haunted backpack! Surprise! Are you bears thirsty for some fruit yummy punch? Party time on a mountain top where the fun, fun, fun doesn't ever stop. We're gonna chug some punch and have a photo. Thank you very much. Bjorn, what kind of groovy creature are you going to have take us across the river? Mermaid, are you going to unleash the Kraken? I will be calling upon that astonishing, mysterious, and noble creature, your boat motor, Bucky. Come on, at least call the whale. School of tuna, one really buff goldfish. A 
turnip tail. Why do watermelons have to have all those pesky seeds in them? Who needs the things? Don't you think it would be totally extra groovy if they were seedless? Bucky, nature gave them seeds for a reason. If not for the seeds, we couldn't plant more... Watermelons. Who decided that? I don't accept it. Whoa! Idea! I'm going to take a watermelon and uh, something else and combine them. I'll make raspberries that grow right inside the jar. Just shake for instant jam. I'll make apple trees that grow apple pie. And see those watermelons that float like balloons. Why hasn't anybody because thought of this? Because it's impossible. Before? Oh, not for a genius. <laughs> Meet my revolutionary new invention, the Combinotron Omatic Inatorizer. Ooh. Should we cheer? I'm gonna cheer. Yay! So it's straightforward. Watermelon here, and in here goes something else, something seedless. Right, Franny, do you have anything without seeds? I've got this turnip. Um, yuck. Are you sure this is the only non-seed thing you have? All right, it's fine, I guess. Right, the turtle goes in, then press the button. Prepare to be wowed. Almost. A seed is born. Plant it, water it, and watch. Bucky, it takes a long time to grow plants. That's all right, I'm super patient. I'll sit down right here and just wait. I'm not moving until I see a watermelon. Well, that's enough waiting. It'll grow without me watching. Let's kick the ball around, guys. Yay, good idea. And this time, you can be on Bucky's team, Franny. Aw, oh, Bucky! Pass it. Come on, I'm wide open. Well, looks like I got a penalty kick. What are you staring at? You'd better protect the goal. Earth to Bjorn and Franny. Yeah! What is that? Bucky, I thought you were trying to grow a seedless watermelon. Well, to tell the truth, I thought a giant turnip would be awesome. Look at that. I can make a pie. A gargantuan pie. I feel like a proud papa. And mama. Franny, wait. I've got this. A turnip this huge calls for some pretty high-level farming. And I happen to be a fifth-level manure belt in farm food. I'm a dirt whisperer. Okay, we should be able to pull it right out now. Oh, great. Could we get it out with a vegetable magnet? That's not a thing. Get real. Watch and learn, guys. To pull Turnipzilla from its deep dirt pocket, you need to use a super special turnip tugging rocket. Reliance on science can conquer veggie giants. Now, for the scientific approach. Forget your farm food, Bjorn. Start the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Ah! Goodbye, science. Goodbye, my friend. Your digging's the reason my turnip's in such a deep hole. And who was it that planted the dumb thing to begin with? But I planted the dumb thing for us. One, two, three. Bjorn, help me for just a minute. Ugh. Turnip, come out! Come on, then! Ugh. Heave! Pull! Heave! Ugh. Just a bit more! Ugh. Chicky, come Ugh. pull with us! Ugh. Keep pulling! We need to work together! Ugh. Excellent! All right! <laughs> Wowzy, wow! That is the biggest turnip I've ever seen! Look at that! You can make your pie now! Knock yourselves out, guys! Turnipzilla pie a la Chef Franny the Fox! Turnipzilla pie again? There's no way I can eat this! There are panda bears starving in China, Mr. You know it's delicious, Bucky! Come on! It's so yummy! All we've eaten for a month is Turnipzilla pie! Whoa, Bucky! Take a look at that! Huh? What are those? <sighs> My floating watermelons are finally ripe! Not real clear on how we're gonna get them down from there, though. Thinking out loud. 
Another heat wave. It's so hot. It's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow. Hey. Uh -huh. Wouldn't it be nice if we had some ice cream? Yeah, that's what we need. Ice cream. Sounds great. We should totally build an awesome ice cream machine, guys. Yeah! We need the stuff that's on those shelves if we want to make ice cream ourselves. Frozen treats will be a breeze. Just mix creamy cream with crazy freeze. Pour it in and mix it up, then watch the cool yum fill your cup. And now, we leave it to freeze overnight. Sweet! We can eat it tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys! I wonder how our delicious ice cream is coming along. I wish I could try it, but I should wait till tomorrow. What if someone else eats it? I should probably check. Oh, well, it looks like everything's all right in ice cream land. Well, while I'm here, I could have one teensy bite. One teensy weensy itty bitty tiny little bite. <laughs> too much ice cream last night. <coughs> oh, I feel like I might be losing my voice. Hi, oh. Bucky! <laughs> Hide the evidence! <laughs> You're here awfully early. Good morning, boys. How about we all have ice cream for breakfast? Sounds great. Bucky, open it. <laughs> um, Bucky? <laughs> Are you trying to say something? Oh, I know. It's that game where you act out stuff without talking and people guess. Hmm. <laughs> oh, charades is so fun. Right, now you're showing us. Um, you're an electric eel. You're a balloon. <laughs> you're a giraffe. <laughs> Hamburger. <laughs> uh, no. A puddle? A fish juggler? Uh, Brussels sprouts? Ah, uh, you're trying to show us you lost your voice because you slept with the window open. <laughs> Yay, I guessed it! Oh, I really thought it was Brussels sprouts. Hey, what happened to our ice cream? What do you mean, what happened to our... Now <gasps> oh, you're definitely a fish juggler. So it was stolen. <gasps> it grew legs and walked away? Your fingers took it? I don't understand. Try it once more. It flew away? The burning sunshine melted it? <laughs> I'm really good at charades! That's too bad. We don't have ice cream. Bucky doesn't have a voice. What a day! <laughs> this could be my bestest invention ever! The Yakomatic Flabatron! It says my thoughts so I don't have to talk! That's, That's incredible, Bucky! Now I can talk and do other mouth stuff at the same time! Like eating! I can run and talk at the same time. Oh, wait, I could do that before. But I couldn't sing and play my horn. Who wants to shoot some hoops? You might have noticed that I asked for that without opening my mouth. Like I can say, catch the ball, Bjorn, without moving a single lip muscle. Ah, nice shot, Bjorn. Okay, settle down. It wasn't that great. Sorry, I didn't actually mean for you to hear that thought. Go, Chicky. Nice bounce, Birdie. You're going to get dizzy, Branny. Now Bjorn's doing it. Go, Bjorn. Oh, hot. Maybe we should have another try at making ice cream. Hmm. We just have to keep it from melting. It's really strange that it melted inside the fridge like this. Inside the fridge? More like inside my belly, huh? What? Oops. Did I just think that out loud? And that too? Come on, Brain. Be quiet. Bucky, did you actually eat all our ice cream? What do I do? Do I lie and say it wasn't me? Stop yanking and blabbing all my thoughts! Uh, it, it, it wasn't me. So you're just gonna lie to us? Uh, sorry guys, I was just gonna try a little. Well, Bucky, uh, at least your voice seems to have come back. Hey guys, let me make you some more ice cream, all right? Whatever kind you want, I'll make it. I want strawberry. And I'll take vanilla. And I'll have birdseed worm huh? ripple. Uh, why are you guys staring? Was it something I said? 
A tiny adventure. Just look at him go. I think he's gonna make it. I think you're gonna make it. Now you're just showing off. <sighs> 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and boom! Yeah! Gosh, Bjorn, a hundred times. That's amazing! That's nothing. I got all the way up to a thousand one time. Shame nobody was there to see it. Can I try? I'll be good, I think. Here you are, Franny. Uh, one, two... Whoops. Nice try. I didn't mean to do that. I'll look hard and try to find your ball. It's fine. I carry an extra one. Great! Let me see that. What we need to do is throw the second ball and see where it ends up. The first ball should be in the same place. Find your brother ball! This is science at work. Feel free to take notes. Eyes on the ball and... Hello there! Just like I told you. Uh, you balls, come here! Uh, uh, there's no way I'm reaching that. Yeah, uh, no. We're not getting them like this. They're both too small and we're all just too big. We're too big, are we? I've got a super awesome idea. When these tools and my genius are combined, my friends, I think that you will find that size is just a state of mind that can be scientifically left behind. Done. I give you the unambigulating Dinkytron. It will shrink us down so we can get the balls back. There's one thing you absolutely must remember, though. No matter what, it's important one of us sees normal size and all three. Um, Bucky, what was that again? Your voice got really small. I need to understand it's really important that you stay big, okay? It's all right. We just have to push this button up on top here. <gasps> you look like a little teddy bear. That felt weird. Hey, what were you telling us? I was saying it's mega important that one of us stays normal size the whole time. Ah, uh, no big deal then. Franny's still normal size. Uh, uh, that has got to be the strangest thing I ever felt. Great, Franny. Now who's going to return us to normal size? That button might as well be on the moon. Got the balls. Well, what good will they be to us now? We're too small to play with them. I think I have a plan. Here's the unambigulating dinky trunk. And here's the reambigulation lever. Now, there's a ball on the shelf above it. Also, gravity exists. So we just need to roll the ball on the shelf onto the lever to start the machine. Then we reambigulate. But how will we get up to the shelf, though? We'll send Franny up. She doesn't weigh very much. Just a little bit further. Come on, go! Well, I made it to the shelf. If we had a rubber band, I could bungee jump down to the lever. Dude, Chicky's huge. It's us, Chicky. Look down. He's like a dinosaur. Chickysaurus Rex. No, wait. Big Ceratops, guys. I don't think he recognizes us, Bjorn. Why are you scared? Hey, it's just Chicky. No way he'd hurt us. He only eats worms and bugs. He just eats tiny little things. Feels like we are right now. Good, uh, Chicky. It's us. You're right.
amusement park. A day hanging out outside in the sun, doing lots of things that we've already done. Trying hard to find a little bit of fun. Come on, can I use the swing? You won't believe the cool trick I can do. But Bucky, that wouldn't be fair. You just used the swing for a long time. It's Franny's turn now. It is. It's too bad we've just got the one swing to play on. Franny's got a point. I could turn my awesome on. And we all know by now just how awesome my awesome is. Ooh, look. The awesome idea will come any second now. All we have to do is think. Think! The swing is getting boring. What we're looking for is something crazy fun. Up north, we really love... What? Tell going me! riding down the snow-covered hills. Whoa! Sounds great! Draw me a picture of what riding down snow-covered hills looks like. This part's great. And this is the scariest spot. Well, looks too simple to me. If we want crazy fun, then we're just gonna have to crank this up. We'll start with a plunge down crazy hill, then a death-defying topsy-turvy loopy thing. Topsy-turvy is a term which in science means could make you throw up, which is crazy awesome. I can't wait. We should build a cave of terror as well. That'll double the crazy fun factor. Nice. Oh, yeah. Let's put skeletons and pirates in it. Franny will be like, Pirates, I'm terrified. What should we do? We should build a high-speed launch ramp. And then we could fly over a big canyon. With an enormous tree at the end. And we can scream, hit the brakes. <laughs> this will be like monster fun. Crazy monster fun. So all right. Let's get started. Before you can have your crazy monster fun, there's a crazy monster mountain of work to be done. But we'll soon be having mega awesome fun by the time. Whoa. Bucky, how do I get down from up here? The bear with the biggest brain is also... The bear with the biggest brain. Nice. It's just incredible, Bucky. I bet that over there, Franny will be like, I'm so scared, am I right? And here, that she'll start crying. <laughs> and over here, she'll be like... Yeah, she'll be saying, please make it stop, I can't handle it. Oh, yeah. Last bolt. Now, it's time to get Franny. Crazy monster fun! Franny, hey, if you put your arms up, the ride will be even scarier. All right. Sounds so fun! Uh, I might have changed my mind. Bucky, suddenly I'm not... Ah! Ah! Ahead, then we'll uh, catch up. I think we have a kink or two to iron out, Bjorn. Don't you think? Crazy monster fun! <laughs> oh, hello again, little pirate buddies. Well, she's in the cave of terror again. Upside down is the best. So, how many more times do you think she'll ride it? Ah. <laughs> Come on, Jenny. Lots. But I'm having fun here on the swing. It's all the fun without the crazy and the monster, which is nice. So much fun I can see! It sure is, buddy. <laughs> the Pearl of the North.
forth. What you Whoa! doing? Hi. Awesome. What a cool model ship. Yeah, right? It's the Pearl of the North, the fastest ship in the whole world. Wow, is it really the fastest? Well, that's easy enough to check. Let's get to the river. Bucky, just wait. See, it isn't quite seaworthy yet. Let me finish up, and then we can try it out tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Tomorrow it is. <sighs> hmm. Chicky, hey, it's tomorrow. Let's get to Bjorn's and test the ship. This is gonna rock! I'm excited! Are you excited? I'm excited! Bjorn, morning! Hey, where are you? Whoa, it's all finished! Oh, I can't wait to see how this baby maneuvers when we get it in the river! Dude, where on earth could Bjorn be? Maybe at Franny's? Doesn't he know that tomorrow is here? You know what? I'll just take it out really quick! <laughs> Mighty Pearl of the North, with the wind in your sails! Blow ye blustery gusts! <laughs> hey, wait! This may be more wind than you can handle! You're just a model! Slow down! Ah, thorn! It's the fastest ship against the smartest bear! Just stop, Dumbo! Come back from there! It's the smartest bear against the fastest ship! Soon I'll have you in my grip! No! Stop! I command you to... Bucky, it's just gone. My wonderful Pearl of the North. So, Bjorn, there's something that I have to, uh, to confess. The thing is, Bjorn, I wanted, I wanted so badly to rescue your Pearl. Thanks, Bucky. But from what? Uh, from, uh, from horrible giant robot pirates. Huh? Long story short, this evil crew of horrible gigantic robo-pirates bottled and snatched the noble pearl. And just as they were about to make their sinister escape, yours truly blocked their path. Gave them a little taste of my awesome bucketude. And what followed was as awesome as the superheroes you see in the movies. <laughs> then I came at them with blam and kerpow. And Long John Tron was all face attack. But Bucky's not so easy to take down. I was ladling out righteous smackdown all over this igloo, baby. <laughs> but then Long John Tron pulls out a cannon, right? Boom! I easily dodge the shot, but the cannonball flies into a wall. Shazing! And against all odds, ricochets right into the pearl and cuts black as into smithereens. To smithereens? To bits. To uh, atoms. Bjorn, there's nothing left of your model building masterpiece. Oh, no. Hey, look what I just found in the river. Hey, hooray! It's my Pearl of the North. Uh, Bucky, what about the, uh, big robotic pirates? Uh, did you make that up? Uh, mm, well, in fact, I was the one who took your Pearl. You were right. The Pearl of the North turned out to be incredibly fast. Unbelievably fast. So what if I took it without asking? Uh, I just have to make it up to him. Oh, super idea! To make up for an epic friendship fail, you better start thinking on a larger scale. The SS Big Apologies about to set sail! Bjorn? I'm really sorry I took your ship without asking. I was just so excited to see how it floated. It's all right. I forgive you. But it will be a long time before the Noble Pearl floats again. About that, you're completely wrong. If you'll follow me. Building the suspense. All right, look. Ah, oh, I built it out of wood and gilt. It's the Pearl of the North, only bigger. And it's all yours. It's just amazing. Unbelievable! Bucky, thanks a lot. And so the Pearl of the North Mark II hoisted its flags and set sail under the command of Captain Bjorn. I heard that this was the fastest ship in the world. Aye, aye, Bucky. Trim those sails and let's see what she can do. Bucky FM. 
Shovelful. Shovel. I'm tired full. of this. <gasps> Shovelful. Ugh. So, Bjorn, when do you think our skating rink will be ready? <sighs> it should be done by tonight, I hope. Tonight? So we have to keep shoveling until then? Whoa! Awesome idea! Some music would make the work less terrible. I'll be right back. There! Now here's a little delightful music for us to shovel snow by. <laughs> Thanks, Bucky! I think you'd make an awesome disc jockey like on the radio. On the radio? Time to broadcast some awesome! Hey, groovy people here and there! Hey, groovy people everywhere! The world's smartest awesome bear will soon be live and on the air! Checkity check check! Uh, is this thing on? Hello there, dear radio audience friends! Welcome to Radio Free Bucky! Bucky? What about the ice rink work? Coming at you live, this is the Buckmeister, the forest's coolest DJ playing the forest's hottest tunes. All right, it's the awesomest! Right? So I've got my own show on the radio. I'll be playing you super sweet music night and day. All right, fine, but we need to fetch some water for the rink. Um, do you guys hear anything? Nah, nothing, dude. Massive problem, guys. There's no sound. My radio show isn't on. That's just plain wrong. Relax, mammals. Radio Free Bucky is back on the air. Tell us what's going on with you, Bucky. Are you just going to sit inside all day long, Bucky? Yes, I am. These righteous tunes aren't going to announce themselves. This next remarkably upbeat song is dedicated to yours truly. You know the words. Playing games when there's sunny weather. Sunny weather. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books together. Books together. Yeah. Every day just has a way of feeling extra lucky. Lucky, extra lucky. When you spend it with a friend, just like Bjorn and Bucky. That's right. Just yeah. like Bjorn and Bucky. Radio Free Bucky. At the sound of the tone, it'll be midnight o'clock. Sort of late. <sighs> and now your favorite DJ, the Buckmeister, will read a bedtime story just for you. Bucky's Sleepy Time Tales. Ah, the story starts. Little Red Riding Hood built three houses of straw and sticks and bricks. No, wait. Mm. Uh, oh, she sold her glass slipper Ugh. to the goose that laid golden mm. eggs for five magic fiends. And then, um, space monkeys attack. The end. Sweet dreams. Good morning, dainty little listening ears. It's a new day of Radio Free Bucky. And it's time for, oh, I don't know, a song or something that you can do your morning exercises to. That's a thing. Right? I think Bucky was at it all night. Franny, we've got to stop this madness. Yeah, we'll never have a decent hockey game without him. You're right. I might have an idea. When your friend has disappeared into a feedback loop of weird, just show him what he's missing, and maybe then he'll listen. <laughs> and now for the news of the morning. Huh? What's that sound? What's going on out there? All oh, right, a hockey game. Right, Bjorn shoots off the boards. He recovers the puck and passes to Franny. Oh, and she takes that down. All oh. right, he's watching us. Just keep messing up like that. Bjorn moves to take a shot. Oh, and misses the puck completely. Gosh, missed it, huh? You call that hockey? Franny passes. Bjorn shoots again. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Who plays like that? That's it. I'm going down there. Yay! Bucky, you're on the ice with us. Here's how you play hockey. Bjorn, pass. Goal! Ha. Oh, yeah. Let's play the 10, Bjorn. Bucky, but what about your radio show? Really no, but these goals aren't gonna score themselves. Franny, you're on my team. Come on, first to ten wins. Let's get started. Franny passes to Buck. He drives down the ice and scores. And Bjorn scores. Franny's in control of the puck. <laughs> Looking good and goal. Bucky passes to Bjorn. And goal. Bjorn, Bucky, blow it up. Goal. Yay hockey. Yay friendship. <laughs> Franny's best friend. 
much fun in the winter sun. I'm making a snow dude! And now he's done! <gasps> spring's on the way! The space planes are attacking! Run for cover, lads! Hey, boys! <laughs> hey, can I play, guys? Take that! You're working for the space clans! Hi, guys! Can I play with you? Uh, well, you can be the reserve, Franny. Wait by that tree till you get called up. Goody, goody, goody! <laughs> Warlord Bjorn, prepare to be demolished! It was an epic tale of guts and glory. The Space Clam Snowboard Whoa. Battle Story! The snowballs flew with such great speed, you couldn't tell who was in the lead. Yes, every brutal, brilliant deed was awesome! Just watch the frozen battle blossom! Aha, uh -huh, a target! <laughs> Bjorn, look at this! Bucky isn't here! That's not fair! She's helping your side! Well, I was just sitting there. I got tired of waiting for you to call for me. Our battles are pretty intense. Bjorn's right. A little kid like you could get hurt, Franny. Uh, you should go do something else. You're right! I was a Space Clam double agent all along! Clam attack! Those guys never want me to play with them. Guess I'm not any fun. Well, if I had a best friend, we would play all the time. And he would never think I'm too little to do stuff. Hello there. Let me give you a name. Bon Bon! Let's be friends! It's Franny and Bon Bon! My lonely days are gone, gone. Look what's going on, on! Fun that never ends, cause we're best friends! Franny and Bon Bon! Bon Bon and Franny! So good together! It's just uncanny! Having so much fun! In the winter sun! You're the best, best friend! You're number one! Wow, Bon Bon, I totally lost track of time! Have a great night, Bon Bon, dear! Have sweetie sweet dreams! And things are going swimmingly here on the maiden voyage of the SS Crafty Rafty, making excellent time! What a vessel! <laughs> Attention, Mr. Bjorn! We've hit some blockage! No problem, Admiral! Bjorn's on it! Do you want to play with us? You could be a stowaway. Sorry, can't do it, because Bon Bon's waiting for me. I've even got a present for him. Who? Do you know who Bon Bon is? Bon Bon's my extra special friend. We have the best times. I really do have to go. Bye now! Um, this seems kind of mysterious. And where there's a mystery, there's a case for the bear detectives! Uh -huh. Yeah! yeah! Good morning, Bon Bon! Bon Bon, what happened to you, buddy? No fair! The spring just melted my best friend! Oh. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Help me! Help! Franny! Don't worry! We're here! The bear detectives excel at rescues! At least I think we would if we ever rescued anyone! What's left of the bestest friend I never had? Close one. Hey, Franny, what's going on with this Bon Bon? Bjorn and Bucky? Bon Bon was just a pretend friend, but he melted. But he'll be back to play with me next winter, if I rebuild him, of course. Oh, Chicky, thanks! You brought me the season's first flower! It's beautiful! Spring might have melted your friend, but it does lots of good stuff! Guys, I know the best meadow in the whole forest! The first flowers of the season completely cover it! We'll pick the best bouquet in the world for our special friend, Franny! You guys are the most wonderful bears ever! My most specialist friends! Promise me you'll never melt. We'll try our best. A big catch! Bucky? 
Pinky, are they biting yet? You can see they're not. Look at the rod. What do I know? This is my first time. Are you getting bites, Bjorn? Hey, your thingy's sinking. I've got a bite. Uh, yes! Hey, you seem a little bit uptight there, Bjorn. Fisher bears have to be cool and calm. Like me. Ah, it's a bite. A bite. Come on, guys. Help me pull it. Hurry. <gasps> it's enormous, guys. I think it's a whale. That's not a fish. Yeah, those will fry up nice. But yesterday, I caught a fish that was this big. It was a whopper. There aren't fish that big around here. There are only little ones, Bucky. Ooh. Uh. It's so big. Did you see that? Hey, Bjorn, come on! I think that make a super wish that I will catch that giant fish! A bite? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, I'm fine. I've got a huge bite. He's so very strong. He's some kind of super fish. Whoa! No what, guys? I think the fish just wants us to play with him. No way! I mean, it's only a fish. All right. I know how. We're gonna catch him. This is the ancient northern way of fishing. We sit down next to the water, then we put our paws onto our noses. Yes. Good. Bjorn, why are our paws on our noses? We're covering them so we blend in with all the white snow. Uh, Bjorn, what snow? It's summer! Shh! There he is! Yeah! <laughs> Chicky! No! I caught him, guys! <laughs> that fish thinks you're real funny. We got that, Franny. Thanks. This just got real. Bjorn, listen up. To catch the fish, we need to do everything that the fish does. We need to become fish ourselves. Cool, Franny, right? Do we look like fish? Uh, nope. Yeah, but we will once we get in the water. All right, let's get wet. Bucky, this dumb suit makes it kind of hard to swim. It's not a suit. We have to believe that we're actually fish. I'm, I'm a, a fish. fish. I'm, I'm a, a fish. fish. I'm a... <laughs> Listen here, fish. I will not be mocked in this manner. Do you hear me? So, here's a thought. We go fishing underwater. Nah, we should build a... High-tech fishing rod. No, we should fish underwater. No, high-tech fishing rod. <sighs> Last one to catch the fish is a huge, moldy, rotten egg. But, fellas, I really think the fish just wants to play with us. Take the battle to the foe. Screw and weld, just like so. Mask, snorkel, dark on shoes. Big, fat, genius brain to use. My high-tech rod is looking fine. That laughing fish will soon be mine. Don't be amused, fish. Just beware. Here come the mighty Bjorn and Bucky Bear. Let's go. <laughs> Time to get caught. <laughs> Bjorn, is that you? It's Bucky. I honestly didn't know it was you. Your rod thinks we're fish. Can you get us out of this crazy thing? Of course I can. That lever there, way over there, will do it. Uh, yeah, we're not going anywhere. Hi there, boys. You look very, very silly. Oh, good, Franny. Hey, Franny, do you think you can get us down from here? Well, sure, but how? Well, good. The fish has come back. So, I guess you came back to have a good laugh, right? Whoa! Gosh, Fishy, thanks for that. What was that? I thought the fish just wanted to make fun of us. That wasn't it. Like I told you, he just wanted to play with us. Wish to, to play, play with my new friend, the fish! Bears on ice. Zamboni bear, Zamboni bear, making sure the ice is there. 
Mm-mm. We've got mm -hmm. the bestest ice rink ever! So, what are we gonna play today? Well, what do you think? Hockey! Hockey, Hockey time! time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, huh? it's great to skate, 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 skate. Brandy, On the ice, what are you doing? Ice, it's nice, nice, We're playing nice, hockey, nice. right? I think figure skating might be really nice for a change. That's a bad idea, Franny. Figure skating's totally boring. Sorry, but hockey's a little bit rough for me, and I don't feel like playing it today. La, but that la, wouldn't la, work. La, la, we need two la, la, players la, la, on each team. All right, fine. Huh? Before we play hockey, we'll do your figure skating thing. But hockey after, all right? Great! You've got yourself a deal. Fantastic. We're all gonna figure skate. The things we do for hockey, bro. Give it up for ice skating legends Franny and Chicky! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and now, here it comes the double, triple, quad, extra, mega, complicated, super duper loop! Loopy, loopy, loop! Here it is! We're waiting to hear from the judges! Franny, hey! Where did you put the other scoring signs? We haven't got anything but tens! Well, obviously you don't need anything else! And first place goes to... Franny! You may now award me my wonderful prize! Franny, this game is absolutely ridiculous. But I think Bjorn and I can make it better! Really? So can you add, like, music and lights and stuff like that? And a costume with seven billion sequins? Heck yeah, wait here! Bears on ice! Franny, look! We came up with everything for your ice skating performance! Just listen up! So here's what you need. Lights on poles and fancy bleachers, all the big time pro skate features! It'll be something to behold, our Franny skating for the gold! Chicky, what do you think? Yeah! Welcome to the Franny Dome! Alright! Let's slice some ice! Work those blades, mammals! That looked graceful, right? Bucky, just watch and learn! Oh, very nice! Thanks a lot! Wow, guys! That's actually pretty good! Yeah! Nice moves! It looks like you're ready! Nails on ice! Wormsicles! Ladies and gentle birds, are you ready to see some world-class figure skating? Of course you are! Hit it! A spotlight. A bear. A fox. It's magic time! Oh, it's <laughs> great, great, great to skate, skate, skate on the ice, ice, ice. So nice, nice, nice! It's a sequin paradise, dice, dice, so we twirl and glide, and it's quite a ride. We jump and spin with a giant grin, cause we got an extra super special, big, important, fancy, awesome, wonderful, impressive, really shiny and magnificent medal to win! Ladies and gentle birds, Franny and Bucky! And now, let's see what our score is. Perfect tens across the board! A ridiculously great score! Franny and Bucky t-shirts and bobbleheads available at the merch table by the exit. I just can't thank you enough, guys! That was the best time I ever had on ice! All right, ready for hockey? You mean, play hockey now? Whose team am I on, guys? Um, the thing is... Um, I was hoping we could work on our double lift. Bucky's right. That big triple spin jump was a little bit off, you know. You really should work on it. It's almost there. But what about hockey? How about this? After we work on our figure skating routine a little, then we can have a hockey game. All right, fine. Welcome to the Franny Dome! Dome, dome, where figure skating Excellence makes its home! Home, home! Let's slice some ice! <laughs> Cause we got an extra super special, big, important, fancy, awesome, wonderful, impressive, 